In recent years, there has been a dramatic decrease in the number of manufacturing jobs in the United States. In the year 2000, there were over 17 million jobs in the U.S. Today, that figure is closer to 11 million. There have been a number of reasons cited for this, including loss of jobs to overseas competition and the recent economic crisis. However, these reasons overlook the fact that there has been a dramatic increase in productivity in the United States, and this has also been a major reason for the decrease in manufacturing jobs. We have learned to do things better. And that is the key to bringing back jobs in the future. We cannot reach the level of manufacturing employment that we used to have, but we continue to, to have a viable and stable manufacturing industry. What is the key to keeping manufacturing jobs in the United States? Part of this is innovation. As part of, the, of a commission that looked at innovation and manufacturing in the United States, the Production in the Innovation Economy Commission, I looked at the reasons and the approaches for bringing manufacturing jobs in the U.S. What we learned is that innovation is a key part of manufacturing jobs. Manufacturing jobs both support and are a driver for innovation. But innovation can take many forms. And one very interesting form of innovation is providing for variety. Providing for variety requires many things from the manufacturing system. It, it requires a flexible manufacturing system. It requires expertise in supply chain and production planning. All of these things are needed for providing the quick changeovers and the wide variety that a variety strategy requires. But another interesting thing about a variety strategy is that having manufacturing close by reinforces that strategy. If you're providing a lot of variety and your sources are overseas, then you either have to pay a premium transportation cost in order to get those goods to market quickly, or you have to provide a lot of inventory to secure against the long lead times coming from an overseas location. Hence, a company like New Balance, which does 25% of its assembly in the U.S., has very efficient and very innovative manufacturing processes, but they're also close by to provide that variety. And this is even in an industry where nearly all the players are overseas. There are other examples like New Balance, and we believe that this is a viable strategy to compete on innovation in the future.